Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, Amateur Radio, call sign KE0OG. I got this uh, email from a gal by the name of Edina. Okay, I think that's female. Doesn't matter. Okay, and it came to my website. And I took a look at it, and uh, um, I mean, it came in response to a website. Please moderate. Uh, this thing and we we've had several uh, goings back and forth she's working with a public service group and they want to implement APRS tracking um, she's running into trouble she really has no experience and this is an example of it now the APRS tracker she's using is a tiny track 4 and I went and got my bag out this is my bag where I keep all my tiny track stuff uh, in here. Now the reason that this is in here is because one of the items that's in here, the pick-on, is a controller for uh, two-meter handheld or whatever you want to be a, a hidden transmitter. Okay, that I have. I have searched high and low and cannot find my tiny track for. So um, I have the cables for it. I have the little GPS that goes with it. This is a real old one. I don't know what model they're up to now. This is GPS2 at Bionics. You go to bionics.com and uh, they have all of these little things. You can get them as a kit or fully built. It's a cable set. Um, this is the pick on. In the absence of the tiny track 4, I want to show what the problem is. The problem is Adina does not know what a jumper is. And so we're going to fix that right now. We're going to try to fix that right now. Here we go. Okay, this is the pick-on. This is a little circuit board, a very little circuit board, that turns a... Um, two meter or any radio really into a, a fox, meaning the hidden transmitter. And it transmits for a while and you can program it with your call sign and whether it's on all the time or whatever. There is right here in the corner a J2. See that J2? Okay, they're too cheap to put in a switch there. So they have this little jumper thingy. I'm going to just reach right on there and pull that off. Okay, now these two wires right here, see those two wires, are not connected together. Now I put the jumper back on, and here's the case where the jumper covers only one of the wires so the circuit is still open so now I'm going to put it on here to where it covers both of the wires and the circuit is closed now these are common okay in board design where they think you're going to make a decision once and so they don't put in a switch which is much more expensive than a little jumper header right here and uh, let's go back and look at the instructions that we have here for the tiny track 4 set the tiny track 4 jumpers okay the jumper is the thing I just showed you here except the jumpers and I'll show this it's the kind of a pen here's your board you can have one two three jumpers and then you've got this little thing that will fit over this two or you can move it so that it fits over these two or you can take it out entirely so um, in this position it connects this to this in this position connects this to this. If you take it off entirely, nothing is connected. And usually these are for something where you were very rarely change configuration. Okay? So, 
this is the one that she's worried about. JP6 on the circuit board determines whether to send 12 volt to the GPS or 5 volt. Now the Bionics GPS is 5 volt. Okay, and more and more in ham radio is starting to be built with 5 volt components. And so you need a um, reduction and usually it's an Seven, is it 7805? This is the voltage that you get out. It's a very, very simple circuit. Uh, so simple, in fact, you just uh, put, here's your 7805. Put 12 volts in there. Put that down to ground. This is a three terminal device. And then out of here comes five volts. That's really simple really really simple to it. you can make it as complicated as you want to but it's really simple okay jp6 is located on the top of the pcb near the right looking straight down at the uh, text on it like this right here has text that goes um this way this is right side up this would be upside down so he on here the db8 connector which hardly ever used anymore, is on the right, okay? So your JP6 is near that. Um, so what you want to do, this has three posts. See, one, two, three. If a jumper is installed on the left two posts, again, that's looking down with this at the right, you'll have one, two, three, a left post, a right post, and the center post, and a single jumper that will connect just two posts together, okay? If the jumper is installed on the left two posts, five volts will be sent to the GPS connector port J2. And that's what you want to do. That's the one you want to have. Now, that's if you use the GPS 5. Okay, this is a GPS 2. They've got a newer one. If a jumper is installed on the right two posts, the supply voltage, usually 12 volts, is sent to the J2 port. You do not want to do that because this is a 5 volt device. So a built Tiny Track 4 normally has a jumper installed on the left two posts. Or if you build it from kit, you're going to have to put it on the right one. Warning, sending 12 volts to this GPS will fry it. Okay. It's the same with my little GPS unit for my QRP Labs clock. Okay, you, it's a 5-volt device. So I hope that answers the questions, because, Edina, what I'm thinking is going on here is you've never run into these before, the little jumpers. This turns this on or off, whatever it is. Um, and if you have a 3, you can put it on one way or the other way, uh, to switch it and it's one of the things you basically do once but it's removable in case you change your mind and you decide that you want to reconfigure the device uh, to do something a little bit differently okay so there you have it you want it on the left too which would be this one and this one, okay? And that will send five volts to the GPS. So that's all there is to it. Uh, really, I hope that answers your question. Adina, I figured it'd be easier to make a little short video rather than try and draw lots of diagrams and so on. But you get the idea. I wish I had my TT4 here. I could show you more exactly, but I don't. I don't have it. Um, I think I loaned it to somebody. Uh, whom I've long forgotten, and I never got it back. So I'll put this back together, and this is for uh, the next fox hunt I do. And it goes in there somehow. Okay, we'll figure that out later. So, Adina, there you have it. Until we next meet, 73.